In this video, we're going to look at what we can do from the hosting control panel. If you haven't got your hosting set up yet, then go back to the previous video and follow that one to get going. But here, we're just going to have a quick look through the main features of the control panel. So first of all, we've got the file manager. Now, I would actually recommend navigating through your files and managing them through FTP which I'm going to show you how to do in the next video, but the file manager does at least give you very quick access to your files. So at the moment, all of the public website files are stored in the public HTML folder. This index.html is the, the standard file, the single file that's there by default, and you can do all sorts of things with that, rename it, duplicate, the, the usual things, but at the moment we're just going to edit it and we can see that it just says default index page. So I'm just going to change that to Rob's index page. So I can be sure that I've, I'm looking at the right page. Okay. So the file manager is useful for getting your files um, edited quickly, but FTP is definitely a more powerful solution. So I'll show you that later on. Go back home. Now, I just edited that file. How can I actually view it? This is the important thing, especially if you don't want to buy any domain names. You don't need to buy any domain names to be able to use your websites because you can use the temporary web address. So if I click on that and open it up in a new page, a new tab, you can see Rob's index page. So that's the page that I just edited. So right there, you've got the power to create and edit files in the file manager and then view them immediately on the web. And of course, you can send this link to anyone else to show them your work, to share it in the forums, and I really would encourage you to do that. If you want to use your actual domain name without this IP address, as it's called, in front of it, then you will need to purchase any test domainwillwork.com or whatever domain name you like. I would recommend getting a domain name up and running. If you want to be a serious web developer, you're going to need a few of them. So I would recommend buying them, and you can buy them from anywhere you like. They're not expensive. .coms from Eco Web Hosting are $6.99 plus VAT a year, so it's not a great deal of money. You're welcome to, to buy them elsewhere if you like. Now, with your Complete Web Developer course, you also get email provided. So you can create mailboxes here. Each mailbox does have a limit of 400 megabytes, but you can have as many mailboxes as you like. To be able to use those, you will need to have actually purchased the domain. You can't use the mailboxes on the temporary domain, I'm afraid. Stop that. And just to quickly cycle through, the MySQL databases section is there. You can have as many of those as you like as well. So when we get to the MySQL databases section of the course, we'll look at that in a bit more detail. I'm just going to brush over all of these things because we don't need to know about them now, but feel free to have a click around, have a play, see what you can do with them. The other thing of relevance to us is the WordPress blog one-click install. So that will get WordPress set up for you in just one click without having to upload all the files, create a database, and everything like that. And there's a number of other, a number of other content management systems like Drupal, Joomla, Vanilla, various others there that you can use, as well as some quick scripts, which might come in useful at some point. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up FTP on your domain.